Teenager paralyzed as a result of a pursuit. Mike Rogers, what are the teen's parents telling you tonight? Uh, you know, they're saying for everything he's gone through, he's making tremendous progress. But of course, they are upset about what got us into this place to the begin with. I want to show you the video here. This happened back on October 5th uh, when the Fontana Police Department started, or Ontario Police Department rather, started chasing a guy for high speeds. They lost him. Fontana PD found him. They also chased him, but then lost him. Found him again when he crashed here in Rancho Cucamonga. In that big SUV there was four teenagers and their Uber driver. All five of the people inside of that car had to be taken to the hospital. Aiden Portillo would be paralyzed as a result. The driver there of the other car, the 19-year-old, was arrested for DUI. I want to show you photos here from Aiden's family. We talked to them tonight. Aiden is 15 years old. He's been described to us as the life of the party. Everyone respected him. Everyone liked him. Tonight he is laying in a hospital bed after being moved from uh, the Loma Linda Medical Center to a rehab facility in Pomona. That's where we spoke with his family tonight. They're dealing with this whole thing and uh, giving hope. Doctors told him he would be paralyzed from his chest down for the rest of his life. This is him previously. Uh, the parents tell us tonight, though, that he is starting to get some feeling back. He's able to move his hands and, above all, his spirit are high. I mean, I believe he's going to walk. No one's going to tell me different. He's going to be back to the, that kid, you know, that he loves every, everyone loves him. He's just, he's just a light. Seeing him in bed, you know, paralyzed, it, it's hard because we know what, you know, what he does and what, we, what we've always seen, right? He, he's. He's a strong, awesome kid, right? Musician, plays the piano, plays the drums, basketball, you know, talented, strong kid. So seeing him in bed, you know, paralyzed, it's hard because we know what, you know, what he does and what, we, what we've always seen. Yeah, and as I mentioned, uh, Aiden there is starting to get some of his feeling back. The friends that you see surrounding him are the other friends that were in the car with him that night. Susie, uh, the parents tell us that one of the friends uh, said that they were supposed to be swapping seats. He was supposed to be sitting in the seat where Aiden was sitting. Aiden said, no, I was meant to sit in that seat because I can get through this. Guys? Mike, thank you so much.